Hey guys, uh, it's Wednesday night. Uh, just getting done. Uh, I haven't cleaned the shop too much today, but it was a busy day. Um, I'm working on back there. I'm going to move the big shelf. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you the tool haul that I got off the truck. Uh, it's a new two truck in this area. Tool truck. But anyways, I'll show you what I got. So I got these Vim sockets. And Daisy. Daisy's down there. But they're really cool. So. so it goes 8 to 19. There's no skips. If you, and you can buy these individually, these sets. So they're a little ratchet socket at, or head that you can fit an extension on. And then they got position. You can change the positions right there. They're all marked with their sizes right there. And then these little holders, this rail, that's pretty nice too. And these are all 3 8 drive. So the rail, it's got this little, it's a round, it, so you can turn it this any way you want. But then you just loosen it to slide it. So that's kind of cool. So then I did buy a longer rail so I could put all these on one rail. But let me show you. So they're a flex head and they do stick out a little bit and they are the the rounded splined ones. They're not actual 12 point. So you could use this like this, you know, to get in a little spot. Or I brought a couple extensions over so you could put a little extension on it. Get a little bit longer or else you could use it like a uh, crow's foot. They're fairly stiff and the they did say they had warranty them if I broke one because maybe I would have to use the long extension. Now that's the 8mm one. That would be a lot of leverage. Whoops, Daisy knocked the camera a little bit. You want to say hi, Daisy? It's a Daisy dog. Yeah, we're just getting done for today and I got more stuff to do. I don't know if I'm going to put the shelf in tonight or not, but just thought I'd show you these sockets. I want to get using them. And I figured before I use them, I better do a video. So they're Vim. I think that's how you say it. So the little set here, yeah, Vim, V-I-M. That's the little set. That the little set goes from 8 to 13. The bigger set goes 14 to 19. Here it is here. Uh, it's fairly expensive for these, but I've seen them on the truck a couple times now, and I, I just, you know, every time I see them, I just want them, so I just bought them. I think they'll come in handy. Uh, it's a tool I don't have. And then I was able to get an orange socket tray for custom car, so that's going to be pretty cool. So we could try to set that up right now. And the gal did say I need one of these to pull the socket tray off because it is fairly powerful. I suppose what I could do is we could get something steel and stick it to it. If I could figure out how to get this in there. Oh, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. It's got to go in this way. So there's the first piece the puller and these do hold really good and I'm going to get some more of these so I can reuse these trays with other sockets so here's the little one let me get something here's here's the big gear wrench I bought I didn't buy this on the truck got it on Amazon I'll put a link at the bottom uh, so it's a 21 millimeter gear wrench it's like the 120 XP but it doesn't say that that's yeah, fairly tough these sockets stick on stick on there like if you wanted to put them on the side like that. Yeah, they're good. Uh, it's very low pro profile little uh, socket holders. Uh, they are fair, fairly expensive, but I, I just thought this would be the way to go. Put them all on one. They, they're sold as two individual sets, but that's just how it is. So let's get all these on there. 
I don't know. We've been really busy. I mean, I can't. I don't know how many cars we did today. Probably like four or five. Uh, we did a couple side jobs. I fixed a battery charger. Did some brakes. Did a tire sensor. A couple oil changes. slid on there. I've been waiting for this day. For, I, I think I, I got bought these on like Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. So a couple days ago. And I just, I want to start using them. And then the next time that that tool truck comes, I'm just going to get a bunch. Looks like six. Six or seven. And then if something happens or I like them even better, I'll, come, I'll do another video. Save them right on. on here. We'll start with the eight. I think we'll put them on like this so you can read them. Nine, ten. And we can adjust these a little closer. Pretty stiff. Here's here's a 12 inch extension. All right, 12 inch can make a flop. Let's go six. Yeah, see it. A six holds it. Or it holds good on a six. I mean, compared to other ratchet wrenches and stuff, that's really stiff. Uh, it's stamped in there. The size, I I can barely read that. It says Vim. The part number and 12, yeah, this is a 12. And then it's laser etched right here. All right, where's the 13? Here's the 13. All right, it's looking good. All right, this 14 feels a little stiffer. Let's see. Yeah, the 14 can hold the 12. So the stiffness on the bigger ones are stiffer. You see the eight. Yeah, the, the, the bigger they are, the stiffer the joint is. Yeah, this one can't hold up this. This is like a 26 inch extension, I think. Uh, maybe 20, it's a 24. You get the idea, let's, let's go a six and a 12. Almost, it can almost do it. Where's a three? So a three and a twelve. Yeah, I can do a three and a twelve on the biggest one. The nineteen. This one. All right, let's stick to getting these on there so we can finish this video up. I just want to have a short little video, and then I got some other stuff I got to do tonight. 
So I'm still not done. It's going to be a long night. So this one's about the right size that we need it. We'll put it all fit on here. I was wondering if this tray was going to be, this, yeah, the socket tray, the socket strip was going to be too long, but it's not. All right, there, they're all on there. These are two different sizes. I still got one of these left. We could put it on there just so we don't lose it. There, now we can, now we can grab her like this. Yeah, I can't wait to start using these. This is pretty sweet. So there's the whole set on an orange tray just for a custom car. And the bigger ones are more stiff. Maybe. All right, here's my little toolbox I got from Menards. This is not very really good. All right, let's put it this way. Yeah, so you can. So that's what these are. These are pullers. You just pull the twist and take it off. So yeah, I think they're pretty sweet. Uh, I won't probably won't be able to put a link in there for this because I got them off the tool truck. I also bought some gear wrench ratchets. They were on sale on the tool truck. I might as well just show you it all. I got this little toolbox of cards. The doors are magnetically held shut. Uh, it's just a novelty item. Oh, these ratchets were on sale. I think I could probably put a link in the description for these. So they got orange on them too, that's why I bought them. And they're 92, so this is a little, a little profile mini one. 3 8 drive. And the longer one, 92. No, yeah, so I can't wait to start using them. They feel really good. The back drag's good. Uh, it's nice and smooth. Uh, I like the steel handles because then they don't uh, get deteriorated in the parts washer when you're working on oil and gas. It's just, that's for me, that's my preference. You guys all know about the power torque. That's my favorite ratchet. Nice big handle and it's thin. So let's compare this one to this one. So it's longer, it's thicker. So it's not as good as the power torque, I don't think, but it'll come in handy. It is thinner this way. So when you go this way, it's less. And then it's longer this way, so it's less and longer at the same time. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, so I did, you guys all gotta do this. So every Sunday night at 6.30, uh, that's for me, 6.30 Central Time, go on to Jeff Rose Garage and Fab and go on to his live feed. And if you're on there at the end of his live feed, he takes everybody that's there and he does a drawing. And I won this from his channel. And he sent it to me, I had it like in two days. And thanks Jeff Rowe if you watch this. But yeah, let's open it up. I wanna start using this one too. So it is a mini swivel, it's a Crom. Mini swivel ratchet wrench. I think it's a little bit bit driver ratchet. Um, that's aluminum. So anodized aluminum. And it's got some teeth there. Ninety tooth. Yeah, it's reversible. So this is a hundred and eighty degree swivel, I believe. Nice and tight, really smooth. It's aluminum. It's nice. Thanks, Jeff Roll. All right, guys. That's, I just wanted to show you my tools so I can start using them, and I'm a, I'm gonna get this video uploaded tonight. So happy Wednesday, you guys. I hope you guys all worked as hard as I did. Uh, I hope nobody slept off, and, and you guys can catch me next time. Thanks for watching.